Welcome, welcome, welcome to a new installment of the 40K Radio Show. We got a got a interesting uh, show for y'all today. It's been a crazy week in the world. Uh, we got some good music coming to you. Speaking of music, uh, it's time for that bump or dump. What you got for us over here, Coke? Our first song coming to y'all called True Story by Matt Zalik. And here you go. Rap in my city, this is not a joke. It never seen before. 
like a UFO. I think your bitch disappeared. This Harry Potter's pro. Is he the murder of Saul? Black Tommy. Just when you rap, cause I make your heart and you never see me. If we deep and stay on your toes like a ballerina. No FDA in the court, nigga, I get subpoenaed. I know the courtroom is the black man worst arena. If I mention your name, you should be proud of that. Cause happy rappers just want pussy in a powder bag. That's why I don't fuck with you because you fake and tired. You hot, but I heat different like an air fryer. Ooh. I heard your music, listen, I'm not inspired. If I had a chance to try it, I'd just retire. I love a sandwich from Arby's, nigga, I nigga slide you. And hit your bitch like I'm a drunk guy. I love a sandwich from Arby's, nigga slide you. Fuck, nigga. 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 Fuck, n
Yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna be. Wild. Y'all remember when you were in high school when they used to like we used to do certain like cover the wars and stuff, and they had like pictures mm -hmm. and shit from the wars. Like this is gonna be in the textbooks yeah. for our kids, kids. Well, that's the textbook. They yeah. ain't using the textbook in high Well, yeah, this is gonna be in the new. Okay, it be in the digital yeah, textbook. Yeah. yeah, digital textbook. Yeah. You know. Like that, it's just it's crazy, and it's it's like I said the first week that we talked about Rachel. I understand fighting for your home, but damn. Yeah, they they like they, they are doing. I don't want to take you, but you know, y'all ain't in I just know this is a resolution, <laughs> a resolution. That's all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They want uh, Putin to be tried for war crimes still, after seeing all the innocent biases. Being killed and stuff. So. He's trying to make that shit of you extinct for real. Like, he's trying to. But I tell y'all, that's like the stupid shit to come in somewhere and kill everybody. Who the fuck gonna rebuild it once you do actually get it? Like, if, if, exactly. let's say that, they let's say, really the, let's say the Russia wins and they take over Ukraine. Who I mean, you gonna send all your Russian people that you just had fighting wars, yep. working extra hard, that, and you know that Russia has to be losing some type of money because oh. there are plenty of countries that are not buying I mean, from them. I mean, honestly, America did. All them exports and imports. Yeah, we put out $300 million. Dollars. What do you I mean? mean honestly, and our gas high. <laughs> <laughs> it's high. <laughs> That's all it is. Why not? <laughs> Lord, I've heard the Lord. We, we, we just hope it I all works out. Mm -hmm. Hopefully the gas goes down before you go. Hopefully. I hope they open up this oil reserve that you're ready to open up because I need this $5 gas. I heard they just away. blew one of the oil companies in Ukraine. Well, yes, no, I heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah open it up. Yeah. Yeah, we're on the subject of opening up. I wanted to open up a can of whoop ass on Duke uh, last night. I'm sorry, y'all. Mm. This, this, this one second is going to be a little different. It's going to be a little different. Mm. Congratulations to Kansas. They beat Villanova 81 to 65 to advance to the national championship where they will play the North Carolina Tar Heels. It don't sound right. My mouth went numb when I said it. it just, my brain about shut off. Like, <laughs> it was die. a hard fought <laughs> game. The Tar Heels were led by Armando Baycott and RJ Davis. He, he was garbage. Hey, look, y'all can gloat about them uh, 19, 20 boards he got, but let's be real. He was still garbage. That's all he contributed was, was the rebounds. The dude had like five volleys. The referees were definitely outside because that first half, the boy had about five. How you elbow me and it's a foul on me? Our operators in the background dancing, y'all, while we talk yeah, about this. Yeah, see, he's a Carolina yeah, fan. Bad day. He's, he's it's loving this. It's a bad day on the set, y'all. He's loving this. It, it, it just feels, it's dark. It's been a dark day on the set. We just, you know, it's been minimal laughter. Honestly. <laughs> it really has, though. I can't even laugh to say, y'all. Y'all know, Coco don't know nothing about sports, but I did know about Duke losing it's, last night. That's crazy. So you don't know about sports, but you know Duke. about Duke losing. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> like, that day, everybody. Like, there were, there were people that were calling that were upset about the Duke loss. Like, I don't want to go to work. My boyfriend got a homeboy <laughs> to cut his phone off last night, but he didn't even want nobody to bother call him to talk about the movie. For I don't want to hear it. <laughs> hey, look, no, no cap. My brother called me. I just looked at it. I had uh, somebody else call me to talk smack. Yeah. I just looked at it. Mm -hmm. and I said, I'll holler at him this, this, this morning. <coughs> and even this morning when they called, I still looked at it. I had to give myself a little chance to recuperate. But well, yeah, call I called him ignored last night. Phone got put on Do Not Disturb while I fell asleep. Yeah. And my people was mad. They was trying to look at the post game interview. I'm like, cut this, cut this, this y'all. Mm -hmm. Cut it off. Mm -hmm. We ain't watching this coach come out here and talk about how good he. Cut it off. But with that being said, congratulations to the goddamn Tar Heels. And uh, on another note, Coach K, probably the greatest college basketball coach. This is last, yeah, last this game. Right? Farewell, Coach K. Thank you for Yeah, not guys sent them out with a loss. Dude. Okay, now let's not. Let's right, not, let's, let's not, not overhype it. Not, it happened in this school. They barely <laughs> did it. It was 17 lead changes in the game. They had to fight mm. us for this. We, we had to make them win. I mean, I'm not saying they whooped y'all last, Thank but you. a loss is a loss. Well, we'll take it. Coach K will take it. Thank you. And they will Again. play Kansas on Monday Coach night to, 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 to find out who is the national champion. Rock Chalk Jayhawk over here, motherfucker. I'm going for Kansas. That's my Kansas. pick right now. Right now. I ain't going to lie. I'm a Duke fan. I kind of want Carolina to win. So we can beat the champions next year. 
Just so it'll be much more sweeter when we get our face back. They got to finish the job. You don't beat Duke and then don't win the championship. No, that don't happen. You got to finish the job, man. You got to bring it back home to the ACC, to Tobacco Road, North Carolina. Finish the damn job. I hope they beat y'all by 30. (laughs) If they do, I'm going to be so upset. Because there's no way you play us that good and then you're going to play Kansas and you lose by 30. It's possible, though, because they did it. Why? Because it's Duke? We, we, We brought up. They extorted a lot of no, see, in that game, bro. No, that see, game, that game. I just show you where their heart is at. Their heart is at shutting people up with a rivalry, but not not winning the dang game all all in general. I mean, it's a national championship. Yeah, this is what you work. This is what you work for. You gotta go see <coughs> that. There's no excuses for losing that. Well, they they gassed all out playing against us. No, nah, that's excuses. All it's I know excuses. is, I yeah. hope. Every last player get in foul trouble. I hope the refs are paid Bacon. off. I hope Big get hurt. hurt. Nah, we ain't gonna wish no. Nah, fuck that. We ain't wish no I hope he get hurt. Cause last game body. he played so dirty and he ain't worth for he ain't worth a jack rabbit man for nothing. <laughs> he ain't worth nothing. That not, boy's doing this no, he ain't so trash. <laughs> First of all, he was one for seven, one for eight. And from the field. He was there to like one for six from the field in the first half. Like he was terrible. He was literally scoring off of BS foul calls they was calling on us. Like that elbow that he threw on uh John. What's his name? John like John Williams or something like that. Or it's John. Oh, he was like, yeah. Him. <laughs> <laughs> he spun he spinning off our man and throw a mean elbow and they called a foul on us. How how is that possible? You threw the elbow at me, dog, and it's a foul on me? You can't explain it. Is well, that the officials on y'all side? Speaking of throwing shit, uh, you know, I know y'all sick of talking about it, but we said we was going to give it a week. This the end of the week. I could talk about this every time. <laughs> I might talk about this for the rest of forever. But yeah, let's talk about, about okay. the Oscars and Will Smith slapping <laughs> the taste, taste straight out of Chris Rock. Now, when Ooh. I tell you whatever dinner he had planned for I after the Oscars, damn. it was too- Cause homie couldn't taste nothing after that slap. Okay? Did y'all see the stance that Will got in when he slapped him? He get hit him with the, y'all know how yeah, he when the golfers the when they hit the little the little shit, you know they, they twist the leg. He hit the leg twist that slap. He, he right. brought that mother from the East Coast to the West. Straight fucking A and do it. Ain't seen nobody Quit open dude. palms hey, smack hey, somebody. He like brought that. back that damn Ali movie. That's me. That nigga went back I was the last person I knew to slap somebody like that. That's a that's a uh, how, how. Quick. Yes, you do. <laughs> and, and what killed me was the walk away. When he walked away, yeah, the way that <laughs> coat clean. Like, clean I'm telling you. Wait, wait, can I say he hit with the fuck? Six times this motherfucker. Jesus, motherfucker. What got me is keep my wife's name out of the fucking mouth. It was just me. It was just me. He it out. Hey, Chris Rock, I'm sorry, bro. I fuck. I fuck with you, but it was a G.I. Jane joke. That's not how you. What? He just slapped you. No, no. It would have been some chairs flying, yeah. and some black men on stage tussling. Oh, yeah. yeah. It would have been TV. some squabbles happening. They would have been talking about why black folks don't need to be at our house. Exactly. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's why they always talk about that. Because right now, they showing Will Smith for 200 million. You did the right thing, Chris. You hosting the show. What the fuck they talking about? You going to throw chairs? You hosting the show. They suing him for 200 million? He was presenting. He was presenting. Jim Carrey. And what's your name there was on Will Smith ass, boy. Uh, Jim Carrey uh, ran that shit. Jim Carrey said, fuck a hundred million. We want two hundred million for him doing that worldwide news. It could fuck up his career or make it better. But either way, he's gonna get sued two hundred million dollars. Jim Carrey is not playing. Y'all can look at his shit on the worry about Jim, Jim Carrey. Hey, hey, you see hey Jim y'all can say y'all what y'all want to. Yeah, Jim Carrey got a lot of power in this shit. Oh, the and he got a lot of power. He's really been around for a long no, time. I'm he's afraid, very respected. Y'all. He's a different level, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. He got a lot of power in the industry. It's not enough. Will not not Will Smith. I promise. Anybody you. with Will Smith, you can't cancel. I guarantee Will Smith. you. No. It wouldn't would be no Will Smith if we wasn't too bad. First off, let's go ahead and mention that shit. Yeah. What? Yes. 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 Hey, hey, Tupac hey. wasn't playing no Fresh Prince. Tupac no. was that in Jada Pinkett. No. And what for Tupac no. dead? No. no, it wouldn't be no Will Smith. But where you get that he was supposed to be on Fresh Prince? Because I know he was fucking with Jada, but where was he supposed to be on Fresh Prince? They said that at first, before they made Fresh Prince by that. You can look that up too, y'all. No. Believe me. Look it up. No. Look it the fuck up. No. 
He supposed to play Fresh Prince at first. Yeah. But then he died. Will Smith went on there and took that over. No. What, what uh, Will Smith play at Fresh Prince when he was alive? Yeah. yeah. That's what white. All right, look it up. <laughs> look it up. He turned it down. He turned it down. Yeah, all the movies. Two part turned the show down. He did juice. Two part turned the show down. He did juice. Poetic justice. Uh, what else? Uh, above the rim. Like he played. I know, TV. but he was about to do a TV show, but he turned the shit down. He better did movies. I'm telling you, you can look it up though. You can, you can believe me or not. I don't give a fuck. Uh, his music was mean. worth more than the show. Huh? Be real. His music was worth more than the show. He was a platinum recorded artist. I know. Two by, or two by, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Not Will Smith music. Hell no. Hell no. Yeah. Yeah. Matt Fager saw this song he did after the, uh, he smacked Buddy, and he calls himself trying to go off it, and I'm like, yeah, hang that up, man. Yeah, yeah. But Dave Chappelle had the funniest joke about that shit. Yeah. Hey, his video had me crying for like three minutes, so y'all gotta check that out, too. That video had me crying. Dave Chappelle <laughs> is hilarious. Did you want to know who was playing? Who? Tony Rock. Y'all see him oh, like stand up in Raleigh. Yeah, he was like, That fool was talking about, not just slap my show. brother because yeah. your bitch gave you a side out. Sir, yeah. he gonna smack your ass next. Keep playing. Hey, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Y'all sleep again. 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 Tony Rock ain't no joke. Tony Rock was the real one. Yeah, he was the real one. And, and Chris You're was right. the one. Oh, leave me alone. Right. Don't be yeah. Tony was the Tony one. Tony Rock was like, bro, you hit my brother, bro. What the fuck? I'm telling you. Yo. I mean, he might be bad at bad. I don't know. We walked up on there and slapped the hell out of Chris. Really? Like, he was bad at yeah. That's that Chris. That's Chris. That's Chris. I guarantee really? you, if his brother was there, that shit would have went left. For real. Yeah, I'm telling you. Tell you. It would have went left. Oh. It would have went. It, it Tony I don't know, know why. It, what about, it would have went left. What if I told I you he was there? You just don't know. Right. I was just saying because why Tony went and backstage with his brother? That's the real question. You supposed really? to roll with him? I would. Yeah, I would. That's not. That's not. That's not hey, like he said, said Will Smith got. He's not gonna get invited to every show. Chris Rock getting it. As he said, and Chris Rock's not gonna get invited to every show. Tony's doing. What y'all? Like for real though. Tony nigga, said you invite your brother to the fucking Oscars, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Any other show? And your brother Tony Rock. He's the host. He, he wasn't was hosting, he was presenting. That shit Wanda was Wanda Sykes was the host. That shit was lame, though. And I promise you, he wanted to do a run like that. But it's time to keep it a y'all. Yeah, y'all leave in the comments what y'all think about the slap. If y'all want to keep talking yeah. about the slap, and we we'll get back to it. But I am ready to keep it a bag. So, this question is 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 gonna cause a lot of lot of lot of friction. I feel. <laughs> so here you go. Does money matter in a relationship? Yeah. It's like 50-50. It matters because you have to be able to like sustain your way of living. But um, when, when dating, I don't really care about money. I have my own. I can give a fuck about what you make. Like you need to make money. To be able to take care of you, cause I'm not taking care of no grown ass man. But I could care less about if you make less money or more money than me, cause I make my own. I pay my own bills. So I don't care about that. Yeah. No, that's valid though. Yeah. I feel like I feel like money is definitely important, and it matters cause we can't build we can't build towards nothing if we like broken shit. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> like what the hell we we together for? Well, what yeah, what struggle. What what struggle. Struggle. You, you want to struggle together? Now I was struggling by myself. Might as well stay by myself. Struggle by myself. The pickup line need to be, "What's up, girl? You trying to get on my struggle bus or not?" <laughs> if y'all trying to struggle, that needs to be the pickup line. You trying to ride the struggle bus with me <laughs> or not? What we doing? You trying to hop on the struggle bus? <laughs> Accepts the pickup line of getting on the struggle bus. You deserve every <laughs> ounce of struggle that nigga give you. They technically do in Greensboro. <laughs> they technically do. The nigga don't got no car. He ain't got no damn place to stay with his mama. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
And that pink and juice is struggling niggas. I'm trying to tell you. You know what's funny though? A female, yeah, a female will take care of a struggling nigga. Yeah. But a, a nigga would not take care of a struggling nigga. She rather you depend on her. That you way never, she know you ain't going nowhere. You, you never, ain't cheating. You, you take know. care of a struggling female, bro. You always yeah. hear a female taking care of a struggling nigga, but it's never the same. Vice versa, like you never hear a nigga complain about taking it, care. It's a lot of things that are. I'm not person. saying it can't happen to me out there, but you never hear about it. It's a lot of things that are vice versa when it comes to how women and men deal with one another. But you are definitely right. I, I ain't never seen men be like, you struggling? I'm going to take care of you. Right, I got you. Unless you're like a sugar baby. daddy and we ain't talking about tricky music. We yeah, talk, ain't, no we ain't, talk, ain't no tricky music. We ain't talking about no tricky. So. Nah, they ain't the same, dude. <laughs> I realized it was that shit. I realized it was that shit when I bought my car and my girl had. I talked about this the other week though. But when I bought my car and my girl already had her car, she got mad at me like a motherfucker. Like, what you buy the car for? I already got a car, so you want me to depend on you? What you talking about? That's what I'm saying. These females want you to depend on them. Therefore. You know, you ain't going nowhere. You ain't going to go nowhere, you broke shit. You might go to the store, ask for a dog or two, <laughs> and get a beer or something and go back home and fuck the shit out of her. Because you broke. You ain't got nothing to do. <laughs> yeah, that's about it, though. You for real, know. though, bro. Nah, they ain't pick and choose to the broke niggas or whatever. Instead of nigga got a job and all this shit and everything paid for, they don't want that shit. I'm like, nigga, you can leave me in a moment and won't give a fuck about me. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. That's a good question right there. I, I'm I, great I, word. I, I fuck with that question. I'm great word. I mean, I just I can only speak from my experience because I'm nobody else. I don't go through any anybody else's experiences. But okay, I mean with with money though. Like, how important is money to you in a relationship? But it was good. It's we all make it one it's mean. not a problem. Facts. That's fast. Yeah. If we both yeah, got our shit together and money don't matter like that. Yeah. As long as whatever you got going on with your money ain't affecting the intermingling of my money. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Definitely. But there's a there could be situations though, like say you both make good money, but the woman expects you to make more money. Yeah. And then it's like yeah, it's the man in us too. We 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 like to make more money than our females anyway. So for real, so, so, so you couldn't do that. Oh, I don't want that, that shit. Oh, oh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta make at least a hundred dollar more than you or something. That's wow. 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 That's wow. wow! Yeah. Wow. That's fine. Are you for real? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why? Then, then, why do you have to make a hundred dollars more than your woman? Why do it matter if she make more? It's not a dominant thing with y'all, man. Nah. <laughs> you don't care. Nah. But a hundred dollars, and then and then the amount is a hundred dollars. No, I'm just saying. At least made it a lot of money. At least a hundred dollars more. At least a hundred dollars more. I don't want my money. girl making no damn, no damn two thousand dollars a week, and I'm sitting there at damn Taco Bell or something making five hundred dollars in two weeks. And shit like that. I'm like, God. I mean, what about you? Think I want that shit? What? What about you? I bet I bought you an iPhone. I bought you an iPhone. Let me get sixty on there, forty on her. Yeah, one one of my one of our viewers I said sixty forty. If you go sixty forty, you might as well go fifty fifty. Yeah. You right here, bro. It depends on the progress. We moving up. your preference. We moving up. I'm down with the sixty forty. Okay. Bet you is. Yeah. Yeah. Bet you is. But you can say any argument. You can say in front of people in any argument. I make more than you, nigga. Man, let's get out of here. You still with me? What you still with me for? Yeah, but I ain't about to hear that shit. So I'm the one mean. helping you with your car payment last month. Remember, you can't afford that BMW. You so your you reason for that wanting shit. to make more That's is the ego thing. It's because you want to feel you wanna like you have in control. The, I, I want to be the like majority control in the relationship. I want to be like shit. Well, baby, I already paid this bill. You don't have to worry about it, even though you're making guap. You know what I'm saying? But you can do that and make you less money than her. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Why not? Why you can't? That's a different fucking I mean, 400 to 1500 that is a little big gap. Come on, now. Are you serious? You got 500 right? Yo, girl got a damn range she, she, You she, drive around at night now. I'm the yeah, she, you talking? I need to get her up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she, he felt that y'all. He stood up on it. She, she, she might, she might come home one day. You might make her mad, and she, she might, and she petty. Let's be real, women can be petty. So like, she gone come so out her mouth. Mean, it, what? She gone come. I mean, men can't. Yeah, come on now. She gone come out her mouth crazy like. 
broke ass boy like <laughs> what and these motherfucking city boys is trying to be more petty than we can't even share bank right. accounts because you like you gonna be like no why the fuck would I share with your bank account I, you don't have no money in your bank account bro I, what you saying be clear I never dated a man that made more money than me ever I've always made the most money in all of my relationships so but I don't throw that in the nigga face like why so what so what <laughs> <laughs> So what? Like, as long as you can provide and do what you got to do, why why am I going to talk about the amount of money that you don't make? Yeah, true. And I ain't with you for the money. Like, I'm I'm in a relationship for you. Don't let me know. Just don't let me know. Just be like, well, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm decent. Just be like, I'm decent. Not you got uh, 20 grand in your bank account, and I got to like, man, shit, let her spend all the money on you getting fed. You ain't going to care about that shit. I swear to God. He care about that shit since she paying for all your food. I know, but they're paying for me. (laughs) <laughs> they gonna be like, who got the bill? I got the bill, baby. Don't worry about it. What? You ain't I know you ain't got no money. Sure. I know you crazy. She fuck. ain't gonna say all that. You dude. crazy, but bro. That's not no dime. You business. crazy. That's all the shit for the heart, right? Talking about you gonna pay for my food. She probably gonna buy my car too. I'm like, but why y'all can't alternate? You buy food sometimes. She buy food sometimes. It's really all about a partnership that's when it comes is. to a relationship. Money should never be a problem if that's right. really your partner. Because y'all going to do what y'all got to do regardless of what the money look like. Mm-hmm. And y'all pooling the money together anyway. Well, look, back you know that, when y'all get married, y'all money come together anyway. Facts. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's y'all money. But we talked right. about that last week, too. But before we move on to the next topic, I do want to give like one of the closing comments. So one of our viewers said that they think that it's fair. 60-40, 50-50. It doesn't matter. 50-50 is still 100 and 200 if you look at it in a different way. <laughs> To keep her happy, you just throw a little more, 120 and 80. Like, that's fast, whatever right. you got to do to keep you your man happy, and I'm with that. That's the same thing I was saying. Like, if y'all in a relationship together, it's really about cultivating a relationship. Yes. The money shouldn't matter. And sometimes being a financial provider ain't what you need. It ain't all that you yeah. think it's cracked up. You may not even, yeah. you may, they might not even need you for their money. Like, you feel me? Like, they good. Um, you that's know, crazy. hey, you can be chilling. Okay, that's how you feel. Right. What do you mean a female that's making a little more money? You gotta go out and just pay for y'all own shit. Yeah, you, yeah. No, you, I'm paying for the shit. What you doing? You, you want to pay? Yeah, I'm paying for the damn. Pay. Bro, I'm not gonna take no girl out of You got your bill. That's real shit. No, that's real shit. You have your bill. No, that's real shit. I don't want to pay for mine. You have your bill. I'm not gonna do that shit, nigga. I'm gonna pay for the damn thing. Like what the hell? No, no, hell no. no. I'll be the type like, man, just put that, you know what I'm saying? She's going to look at me, she's like, damn, nigga, you can't even buy my food? Yeah, yeah. You food, baby. We all, we all co-workers, friends, and shit. I ain't paying for a motherfucking thing. Me and my co-worker, you talking about your girl, bro. Okay, your girl. Okay, yeah, that's different. Yeah, that's your girl. That's, girl, that's different. Man. But it's not, but your girl can't, and like, after a while, y'all been dating. Y'all, she can't want to treat you? Like, yeah, man, let me take you out to that, get me. That's cool, that's cool, but I'm talking about as far as. You got your half. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't want to have to ask you. I want her to be like, I want to go. I said, baby, go ahead to the car. I got the bill. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Even if I am making less, but still, though, bro, it's an ego thing with me. I'm not going to. No, I feel it. I'm not going to ask you for half. I'm not going to be like, shit, I, I'm the type of nigga to be like, okay, I'm going to pay this bill. You know what I'm saying? Without her knowing or whatever. When she goes to the store, she's going to be like, oh, no, man, this is zero balance on I'm like, who paid it? My boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Yeah, that's want, the real shit. I don't want her to be okay, like. Okay, give that man a hand clap. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Help out. That's Help the real out. Do shit. something right. depository. Y'all better take these notes. Yeah, yeah don't be. Don't be sitting yeah. yeah. no. there. You got your half of the bill. I can't afford this for <laughs> My <laughs> iPhone bill is too high. I don't know why you bought me this for, boy. I had an Android. That, Come on now. I know why you bought me this for. Why you bought me this for, man? This bill is $150 for both of us. I'm like, come on, man, no. And before we move on to the next topic, I'm going to leave you with this to, to piggyback off of that. Real, that's some real shit. Like, because with me, with my relationship, like, we split everything because I want to contribute. It's not, yeah. that he don't want to pay everything. Is that I want to contribute. Like, I understand that you can't be out here doing nothing for free. Like, nothing is free. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm and not this, this way to wait on you to do shit. I'm going to do the shit if I got But to. I will say that any woman can appreciate knowing that if 
the time and place come where I don't got it or I can't do it or something come yeah. up, yeah. then I can depend on my man. Right. You can so like, that's, I that's can come ahead and pay for this trip. Shout out to pay for that. Yeah, exactly, yo. That's what I'm talking about. But while we have a topic of relationships, I have another question for y'all. Can you repair trust? And if so, how? Define which which level of trust. Yeah, I'm about to say. It. So it depends how many times like you you did something. Like how how did I break your trust? Let's say <laughs> like you got caught in a lie or you cheated or something like. See, can you repair the trust for next? See, getting caught in a lie and cheating is two different. No, it ain't because if your ass cheating, your ass got caught in a lie. I'm telling you. See, <laughs> no, lying. Lying is, <laughs> I, I canceled on a Friday night of us going out to go chill with my bros because I felt like playing 2K and drinking and smoking but my I bros. You and then I told you uh, we was going to goddamn help bro move on some important shit and then when you call, you hear us. See, that's lying. That's a little white lie. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, that's lying. So they are levels that's a, to the person. It's a petty lie, really. I mean, it is a petty, it is a petty lie. lie. But that's it's like a dumbass lie. Like, why did you just tell me y'all was going to Because she was going to get mad. Because she was going to get mad. See, that always be the answer. Because she was going to get mad. Yeah. See, but you got to be the man and say, fuck if you get mad. I'm telling you what I'm going to do. Yes. But I feel like that type of honesty needs to come with everything. Not even just no, relationships. That needs to be on all levels of life. You can't worry about whether or not somebody's going to be mad versus, or their feelings going to be hurt because, because you told them Watch this. Versus me telling you I'm going to help my bro move. See, same line and everything, but whole time. You done, you done, you just driving, running errands, <coughs> you done roll past a uh, steak and shake, and you look inside, and it's my black ass with somebody here, a whole nother female. Yeah, <laughs> that's different. That's different. That's, that's, that's an ass whooping on the rocks. Still, you, you, you see what I'm saying? Definitely. So the, the degrees of uh, breaking the trust is, is, is a little different. Yeah. I, yeah, it's a little different. Oh. Okay, so split it up. Can you repair trust from cheating? I yeah. think that you can, yeah. but it can be repaired. But here's here's why people think that you can't. Because people are not prepared to deal with the consequences of their actions when it comes to that. Because repairing the trust takes a lot of work from the person that broke the trust. And nine times out of ten, they ain't trying to give it. Like, they feel like, okay, if you're going to forgive me, forgive me. And let's just move on like nothing happened. Nah, Versus... Nah. Actually, take you know, moving different, taking the steps to yeah, get it, yeah, yeah, to yeah, to do stuff. Because if you fucked up, like it's, it's shit, you got to do different. You got to move gotta, different. You, gotta, you gonna hear some shit. It's gonna be some shit from time to time. But you got to accept. You know what I'm saying? I did that. So, yeah. am I willing to do what I got to do to repair the trust, or do I just not give a fuck about? It? That's. Yeah, that's but a valid it, state. yeah, that's about to say. I make a statement about that one. Yeah, but um, oh, that, that that allows your partner now you know because you cheated that allows your partner to get a, a pass too. Some people anyway, they should allow your partner to get a pass. So if you get caught cheating, people like well, who, well, who came yeah. up with that bullshit? What you mean? Well, <laughs> <laughs> said she cheated. What I you mean? That before you even now I gotta get my lick back. I gotta get my lick back. <laughs> no, I didn't I'm say you got back. to, but you can. You know what I'm saying? You should not get mad at me no more. Yeah. I feel like if that person was was to come to conclusion, like, if you still want to be with me, I gotta go out here and get my lick back. You should yeah. not be mad about some that. Some people like, did, like come some on, people bro. like to get even sometimes. Like, you know yeah, what I'm saying? You just gotta live with that air. You gotta let me fuck my ass girlfriend. You gotta let me fuck up. I've been trying to. And let that girl. You gotta let that girl. You gotta let that girl. Fuck her, though. Huh? That only lets her know that you've been wanting to fuck her. No. But I did, though. But I did. But I did. But I did. I feel when he comes to me, dog. I did until your ass went fucking around. Now yes. I see, now I'm like, now I'm what shit? You gave me them single so vibes. Now I gave them single vibes. I wasn't doing what I wanted all that, now, all, that, all, that and all that extra stuff y'all added to the relationship that y'all supposed to be cultivating. New word of the day. Okay. Like, well, wait, what you cheating for? And we trying to cultivate what the fuck you cheating I understand what I you said where weird. you say that it is <laughs> not fair <laughs> for you. Let's say you I cheated. I got one pass. It is not fair for me to then go Get a little more dirt and mix it into what we already yeah, trying like, to fix. I understand that. Right. that. Right. It right. does not yeah. fix anything. Is, However, I, childish, I feel bit. like in relationships with stuff like this, it's all, it all comes down to communicating. Are y'all able to communicate with each other? Can y'all talk about what y'all are truly feeling, what your intentions are? Yeah. Can you talk, yeah. About, yeah. Yeah. Can you talk about it? Yeah. And one of our listeners said, trust is hard to build, <laughs> so it's even harder when you break it. It got to be something treacherous. 
for me to feel like you lost my ultimate trust. Yeah. Like for me, cheating is the That's ultimate it. break of trust. The, the be real, the reason why I say no, I can't like you can't build that trust back is me. Once you cheat, oh you up out of here. Like I ain't, I don't care how long we've been together. Oh. Um, what we done built, like we the only way I can see it happens is if we married, we got kids. Uh, uh, other than that, oh no, you up out of here. If it's a family nah. member, it's over. It's the right. Yeah, you say what a family. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's over. Family members, bro. Oh, on one of my right hand man, it's over. Yeah, oh yeah, oh my. It's oh, over. Yeah. It's me, yeah. my homie, you know and you my girl. Me. It's over. It's you a right. trifling. You see yeah. somebody I know. It's a right. You know yeah. Trifling. It's it's okay. Let me, y'all. It, it, it was like a whole setup. A whole setup. Y'all niggas was whole lives. Yeah. Yeah. It's a wrap. Yeah. It's a wrap. She gonna be at work this time. Ain't no better. He gonna be here. Meet me right here. We gonna go over there. That that bitch yeah. got a whole lot of planning, plotting, and sneaking around. Y'all not only are you at my house, but I gotta whoop your ass. I gotta whoop everybody's yeah. ass yeah. first. Yeah. All yeah. parties is getting these hands. Put these pause on you though. Everybody. Everybody. Nobody it cannot be a family member if you do do it, because you would never get my trust back. Me neither. I'm thinking y'all freaking out the family y'all get the type shit. You a thought for life. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be telling people Bad. she a thought, man. How? Oh, she fuck my brother, nigga. Yeah, yeah. It's over. It's, it's a wrap. It's a, it's a, but let me tell you something I noticed about men <coughs> and women when it comes to cheating. A woman will give a, forgive a man for cheating. But a man. But a man. I, I don't see it. I'm not gonna say it doesn't happen because there are instances. I know a few people where the woman cheated and they, you know, the man forgave her and they're still together. But in most cases, niggas ain't forgiving no woman for cheating. But a cheat. No. They cheat and won't forgive the woman. Like I never I never understood that. Like love is a two way street. Relationships are a two way street. Yeah. Like any type of relationship, not even just being in a romantic relationship with somebody, even down to your friends, relationships are two ways. What you can do, I should be able to do. Now it's up to my discernment if I decide to be petty and try to get my lick back, as you say. It's up to me. But it, it should definitely be two ways. Whatever you can do, I'm just saying about that. Call, if you the get the lick back, is things ever gonna get back the same? No. Nope. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like you done cheated, I done went and did what I did. Man, like, you and gotta, we come back and try to work it. And you ain't got to tell her though. Yeah, but you, it ain't even like, you know what I'm saying. Like, it's not no point in being together. Know. At this point. Like no, nah, it won't even feel right. Us having sex, like it just feel like you done slept with this person. That was yeah, sick. Now I done slept with this person. Like now, I just feel like we just left him. No, I'm about and to leave this friend. Let's go, girl. I'm about to leave this friend. Let's go, girl. Right, be good. I'm coming home. I'm releasing straight. You see, Jody, you see better than boy. I, I think that then I mean, it got murdered. That thing got to me. I'm gonna do some little let me. Yeah. <laughs> he gonna give a lap dance. <laughs> yeah. I, I just, I think, I think it can, it, it can be repaired. Overall, it can, but it, 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 it's, it's oh, a lot of work. Family. It's a lot okay. of work. Yeah. Yeah. Just family. Unless it's somebody I know or somebody close to me that, like that, I can't forgive. Like, cause but everybody's doing. You done? And, and if I left y'all alone before, and I find out after the fact. Now, all the times that oh, I left y'all alone, I went to your store. Ass these three I went. Oh, I went was to probably getting a little sneaky. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna oh, thank you every time. Oh, every time God. I left you at my house, I'm gonna thank you. Oh. I, oh, for every time I ever left you in my <coughs> the I'm level, okay. the level of betrayal. Oh, and then in my house, oh my god! Oh, oh Jesus no. Christ! I'm gonna I'm gonna call the police on myself. <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all be like, come the fuck up. I'm about. I said, bro. I basically oh, I picked myself up and like, come get me. I hope y'all get him before I get him. I hope y'all get him. I can get no crime. I need to leave. You better get in. And if I go in my car. I'm gonna run over somebody, so now nah, I don't need to go on my way up. Just come and get me, bro. Take me away. Mm. Mm. Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm gonna dig in. I'm telling you. I'm gonna call my people. Now, I know they're gonna get the people here on time level for me not to kill them. Well, I'm gonna hurt them. I'm gonna hurt them. I know me in the, in the extremes that I will go to, so yeah. I'm not bold enough yeah. to call the police on myself. Cause if, Especially if I call, I know I'm going to jail. I'm not calling. 
Okay. Yeah, because I go to extremes when I get to the Well, he's dead then. It's okay. If nobody gonna call the cops, he's dead. Trust me. However, I'm gonna get on digging, and that bitch ain't not gonna stop me from digging in this nigga for fuck in my house. Y'all crazy. Well, you dead. But however, I tell you what I will do. I will call my mom. You better off your brother's car and try to stop me. I'm gonna kill that nigga too. You dead, bro. If fuck that shit, you dead, bro. I can be So you just gonna kill people to the cops, bro. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They better get home. Chitty chitty bang bang. That's what I said. Everybody gonna I'll call the cops. I promise you. So that might be home. the day. I might call the cops on myself and be like, hey, you need to get here fast. It's I'm really still beating on them. Hey, bro, fuck the phone. You need to get here. Now, I'm <laughs> like, for real. I'm about to kill this man. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to kill him for real. Yeah. Yeah. You take me to jail. I called y'all over here now. Bro. My charge ain't gonna be that bad. I'm gonna fuck them up. You in my house. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, that's the law in North Carolina right now. You can do that. You can do that. It's just in my house. You crazy. If you a fool, then they'll trespass it. So you in my house. Fuck with my girl. So and then if I call the cops of myself before I killed him, what you talking about? So after you yeah, call the cops and you start beating him to death, and then she jumps in. You gonna start beating her to death? She jumped in. Wait a minute. No, she better not. She better start defending. Okay, you defending this thing? She know. <laughs> <laughs> you defending this man too? You know what? You better not. I ain't even trying to fight no more. You better not. I'm gonna look at her. I'm gonna look at her. I'm gonna like, girl, come over here. Dude, don't do it. You know, you know me. I tell you, let me walk away now. Let me do my thing right quick. Don't, no. Don't be no female. I tell the girl in a Let me walk away. Let me go outside. Let me take a walk right quick. I ain't. Uh, <laughs> uh, if I stay here right now. Oh, so you gonna leave him in your crib? Who? No, I'm talking about no. I'm talking about just her. No, I'm not. Oh. I'm, I'm gonna drag this nigga. You oh. gonna leave her in your crib after oh. she was just sleeping with him? Right, she gonna let him back in. Right. Right. She gonna let him back in real quick. She was sleeping with him. Everybody gotta go. Bruh. She won't throw the I might be both on the heads, but I'm definitely gonna about to kill that buddy. But oh, she gonna buy the cops anyway. Now Wait, I don't need to call the cops. This is a close friend. This is a close huh? friend. This, this is a close, close friend of a stranger. If you in my house fucking my girl, bro, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you mean the stranger? I don't care who you is. You no, about to no, be my dad no, in my house no, fucking no. my girl, and I might hurt him. I might hurt him. Yeah. I might hurt him too. Yeah. I'm telling you, yeah. you might be my father. And I, if you fucking my girl in here, I'm that's, di- that's your father. Yeah. That's different. What do you mean? But a stranger don't know you, nigga. Yeah. Huh? A stranger don't know you. She can be telling you anything. I don't even yeah. say you this fist. She can be saying all the time. You don't have to know me no more. It's not going to see you no more. She can be saying, I'm single. Oh, I got a little spot. You can see Whatever. Come on. Whatever. Let's go over here. And you don't see nothing. Or, I'm not right now, but I'm just saying. You're going to see some pictures of us or me or something. <laughs> she's not going to yeah, hide. You're going to know. You're going to know what this nigga stay here. You're going to know what this nigga stay here. You're going to know what this nigga stay here. You're gonna know what this nigga stay here. You're gonna sit the yeah. fucking shoes in the closet, bro. Yeah. you gonna know somebody. I'm gonna stay here, bro. Oh, that's my brother's crib. Uh, yeah, yeah my your brother digging in. He here. in my crib sometimes yeah. spending the night on the couch. Yeah, nigga ain't gonna be lying like that. Nigga, 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 nigga do too. I was just gonna say, nigga I had a nigga, 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 nigga actually bro. tell a girl before that all the stuff that was in the bedroom that we shared together was his sister's stuff. I was like, so his sister sleeping in his bed with him. How smart I tell y'all one. You really can't be A smart. quick, brief story right there. A quick, brief one. A quick one. Yeah. Two, two years ago in Burlington, this dude never had sex, never in his life, about 25 years old. Oh. Finally fucking a girl in Burlington and got shot the fuck up oh. and, and killed in Burlington two years ago. Over his first piece of booty? Yeah, first piece of pussy. Came down here from Virginia and everything. And came, um, came down here from Virginia and everything. And came down here and messed with that girl and got called and um yeah people they, and got shot and killed. We let you know people are really crazy like Mr. Husband and the husband crazy. got away with it because it's at his house and he's out. Yes, two years ago in Burlington. Wow. Real. Wow. Yeah. So that's the prime example right there. That's the prime example. Uh, more than the story is y'all better stop now. cheating. People <laughs> crazy and you might lose your life. Okay. Don't dangerous. let that little piece of booty be worth your life. Yes, it's it's right. is dangerous. Bro, yeah. dangerous. Y'all play what I said last week? A dangerous game? You yeah. think you pimping to that bullet getting to you or something like You know what I'm saying? You think you pimping. Think you pimping you think you're leaking. Yeah, you better get a girlfriend to with him. You better hope your girlfriend don't got a boyfriend, another boyfriend. 
Or her free, because it's a lot going on. Yeah, that, 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 too. that boy ain't Ooh. Ooh, crazy. Oh, man. Jesus. So, I got one, one last quick question. We ain't got to take, because this ain't even a real keep it a band topic for today, but I want to throw it in there. How ratchet is too ratchet, y'all? Dude, when another <laughs> ratchet person looked at you and be like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if somebody you know is well ratchet, look at you and tell you you're doing too much. You do it too much. You right. <laughs> define define ratchet ratchet now like too ratchet. Like define that. Like So something that I think is extremely ratchet. Y'all might disagree. This might be a little bougie me. But something that I find very ratchet is when people see somebody they know out in public and they scream at them from across wherever they get. <laughs> hey, that's that me though. Very ratchet. That's me though. That's sure. very ratchet for you. I'm like, yo. Yeah, I thought, yo. Yo. Yeah, I thought, yeah. I, yes, sir. People yeah. do that. Yeah. So when I see people that I know, I just, I send them a text message like, bitch, I'm like, it depends on Yeah, it depends on what situation. Like, if I'm in Walmart and I say, I'm like, hey, yo, buddy. My boy, yeah, sir. Look at your face. I feel like that's, that's only appropriate outside. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, inside of an message. establishment, you shouldn't be yelling at people from across the room. Oh, come on, church, Jesus, church. Yo, my name, what's up, bro? And that's nothing. Not in the Lord's house. Church. Nowadays, that's how I be. For real, though, that is how I be. I'm just like, they doing their whole set, handshake. You know, dudes are gang man. They doing their handshake. I'm like, bro, we is at church. But, but good book second. I I'm see my floor. cousin at the mall. Maybe he was on the second floor. I was on the third floor. I text him like, hey, boo, I just see you at the mall. He's like, why you ain't here downstairs? Why would I do that? Yeah, the yeah, ball, that is, yeah. Hey, everybody looking up like, because we yelling at each other from two. They might think it's a fight or anything. You're ready to go on. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. They yelling at each other. They might be a squabble. People, I just said people are crazy. Might be a fight. When you say ratchet, you just mean by actions, like a person's clothing. No, actions is ratchet. Actions. I don't feel like you can dress ratchet. You can be tacky, what? but you cannot dress. Ratchet. I don't think that ratchet applies to dress. You can be very tacky. You can look very, very tacky, but I don't think that you can look ratchet by outfit. You look tacky. Ratchet know. is actions. That is how you act. I don't know. I don't so, it looks like everybody on this panel know. disagrees. All right. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Because you should uh, not be popping up at your interview with a dang bonnet on. I'm sorry. That's ratchet. That is very tacky. That's ratchet. I guess ratchet is tacky. Oh, yes, yes, yes. 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 It shouldn't matter. Like a, yeah, I feel like it shouldn't matter either because it's all about how you present. You should at least present yourself at like a minimum level. Yeah. And showing up with a body, that's not nice. That ain't it. Unless you bought, I don't know. Do rags, all that. Like, now, this coming from a person know. that during the week will run anywhere with the bonnet on if I ain't did nothing to my hair. However, if I'm going somewhere. You're not doing business like that. No, nah, if I'm going somewhere, it, it's business related, I'm definitely getting dressed. Yeah, I feel like anything. If formal, I got the flat beat yeah. dreads in a bun, that's what we're going to do. But yeah, de definitely not. Business wise, and shout out to Calvin because you are interacting today. Shout out, like Calvin said, um, when I take you out in public, you too loud, cussing, you don't got no manners, you don't got no cool. That's wretched. Yeah, I agree. yeah, I agree. All yeah. of that, you got all the, the yeah. like that. <laughs> if we make oh, a G chart right now, all of that would fall under wretched. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's it all right of it. That's it right there. So, them long ass nails. With the braids, one be green, one be yellow, all the way across the head. And the little ass shorts with the all that, like that ain't ratchet to y'all. No. 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 I can't the no baby let me tell you something. Well, you Before said, I had my baby, 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 I used to keep like, the longest nails. Like, 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 like long long nails? No. No, I don't know. Yeah. Because long nails are a thing for girls right now. And it needs it's, to stop. It's been a thing for girls. Like mine are even a little on the I mean, that's not, side. Not, I'm talking about long. Like you talking about well, like, you know, long, 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 and it curls. Yeah, that lady at Delhi. You remember that lady at Delhi? I'm not doing it too because I knew you was getting ready. Yeah. yeah. Her was a curl. Oh, she said she been going hard for like what twenty years or something no, like that. And she never cuddled. She never cuddled, and it was curled up. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, 
Everybody went to Delhi to remember her. That's she right. was at the front office. What was her dog on that? Uh, what was she typing? She had the blind hair. And she, she can type in everything. She can do all that. Bro, yeah, she, she can write, type all that. But she been grinding for years. Her nails is curling, bro. For real, no, bro. That's too much. For Shout real. Shout uh, Miss Lady at Dudley's uh, front office. <laughs> yeah, she <laughs> like 50 something. Well, no, I ain't going to tell her. Hey, I shouldn't have took her. She yeah, told the story, did. but we... Well, we no, y'all talking about nails. We talking about, like, talking about real long nails. Everybody was going to do that. Where that lady at with the nails? <laughs> yeah, no, that going to see it? No, no that's going to see it. Walk in, take a nail, and she's right there. I'm talking about Craig's girlfriend from Friday type. Oh, yeah. She's no, she not the nails. She's 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 the and, and you can get it too, cause she's and, sleeping with other niggas. Yeah, they, uh, no problem with me. And she was, <laughs> Craig was on. He ain't had his eyes all on her, cause he was trying to uh, mess with uh, what's her name? Uh, oh, Debbie. Debbie. Yeah. Yeah. He had his whole thing too. It's a doggy dog world, man. I'm trying to tell you. Again. I don't know. I don't know. That I don't. This. I don't think that the long nails are wrenchy. I know a lot of girls that wear very long. Self expression. Shouldn't be taken so damn far. I understand. But it's a you feel like there should be a limit to self-expression? Huh? It should be a limit to self-expression. <laughs> not a limit, but just a. Because then you're not uh, expressing uh, yourself. Not a limit, but just a. A, a, a boundary, a, a something like. So what you feel like is taking it too far? You feel like long nails, the nails. If my nails no, this wrong. Long, now, now this is the whole package. Now, this, this, long, this is not just you're a tired and you a quiet anti-social person. You just walk around like that's not what I mean. I'm talking about the whole. Oh, the whole package. Yeah. Yeah, but like I said, it comes into the acting thing. If you act ratchet, and then you look tacky, y'all just assume you ratchet all the way. And the hair yeah. too. The hair. The girls with the real. I don't long know what this hair is. You crazy? Hair they got the hair, hair all the way up man. to your knees, yo, for real. Hello, you got a lady on the motherfucking panel, and I got a question. What's wrong with that? Because I used to do my braids to my thighs. I don't want to date no horse. I want to date a female. What are you talking about? Why you got your hair going to the floor? They lame. That shit cute. Okay, I keep that. No, no. I'm not talking about. No, no. He's confused. He's confused. I'm talking about butterfly locks. Oh. That's all right. Brady, Box brain. Box brain. Next time. Soft lock. I'm here for it all. I'm going to take a photo. I'm here for it all. Nah, I swear to God. No, it's yeah, ridiculous. No, I have seen females braids all the way to the ground. Yes. So I mean, for Jay, what? Really, Jake? For what? For what? I don't want to step on my hair. She said she'll I'm not about to spend $500 for your hair, dude. Hey. No. Hey, she said she's for Rapunzel. For what? Because she's Rapunzel right now. Girl, you just spent $500 for all that old. I mean... <laughs> she the baby if you switching it up and that's not your everyday look then I guess that's cool if you wanna you know no 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 I'm here for it all it's an extent I like long hair too but all the way to the ground for what? Oh no, to the ground. That's not you take minutes to wrap it up and go to sleep. What are you talking about? No, it's a lot of people to get their hair done like that. Yeah, I I went through that phase. Of having to hold her hair while she was trying to do something out of simple shit over her shoulders. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. when I used to do the thigh length braids, what? I used to have to get help. Y'all are your help hair. Your mama. I understand. <laughs> but all that weave for what? That's all I'm saying. Why not? Why not? Yeah, like, box braids are sexy. I don't give up with them. But you know, they're not behind his hair. And the longer ground. they are, the better they are. The longer they are. Like Stop the ground with Say, lay it down in back. Oh, my God. Like, why, Listen, why, 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 even the, the struggles that go into it, I wouldn't <laughs> say I would never get my hair to the ground that it is. That's too much. Because even with the, with the silent braids, when I used to, like, go to the bathroom at work and stuff, I used to have to put my hair up in the bud because I want my hair to dip in the toilet. What? What, to the thigh? Yeah. Nah, that's what she's talking about. When I did the thigh length braids, oh, yeah, well, you gotta put I used to have to yeah, put it up because like... you don't want your hair, like, dipping in the toilet and shit. Like, when you go to the bathroom, it is, like, a lot of extra work, so I would never do to the ground. And I even closed one of them braids in my car door. So, definitely wouldn't say to do it to the ground. But long braids are fine. Hey, no, nah, the female that I seen did that shit. She, uh, she uh, did do that shit. Like she closed the door in the 
Brady was on the ground. I'm like, yo, he yo, Brady on the ground, bro. Like, you might want to pull off. You know how I know my braid was missing? She was going to pull off, too. I'm like, oh, that's not going to go. When I found out my braid was missing, when I came back to the car on my lunch break, it was dangling in the door. I was like, oh, wait. Oh, <laughs> whole braid here. <laughs> Close it right in the door. So from there on, no more long braids. But shout out to ladies with all the extra long braids because they yes, fine. I love it. Hey, I'm here yeah, for it all. Oh, they listen. I like natural beauty. Butterfly so rocks, your natural hair. Braids, all of that. I love it. Before we jump into your rant, dub, I do want to see, try to do a little, you know, would you rather? And you had a good one earlier. No. <laughs> That's the one we used to go around school asking. What? He said, no. Because no, I don't not that one. one. Not that one. We're going to have it in the after show. Yeah. We're going to put that in the yeah. after Behind show. Behind the scenes. Y'all follow our YouTube at 40K Radio. <laughs> <laughs> that one. Oh, yeah. We do. However, yeah. the other one that you had was about the, um. I think it was like. Oh, yeah. Would you rather do two years of slavery or. 20 ten, years in the kennel. Or 20, yeah, I reduced it to 10 to help y'all out. So 10 years in the pen or two years of slavery. It's basically the same thing. What you gonna do? Would you rather be two years a slave or twenty years in the penitentiary? Which one? You penitentiary. Want? In the penitentiary. <laughs> Which one you want? Now, me personally, I can't be no damn slave. But I might have to take that ten. Let me be real. Yeah, yeah. Ten. I think I think it'd be the Heal ten my years. Shakes up. Cause at least I might be able to survive <laughs> the ten years, get out and live. Real. Being you know. a slave. They're going to kill me. They're going to kill me because certain shit I'm not doing. It's a pen, bro. Them dudes live for a living because that's all they got to do. I don't live, y'all. So when I get up in there the first day, I'm telling you, I'm taking my toothbrush. I'm building shanks. I'm building shanks, bro. You're going to be poked up trying to get me around. Okay. Honestly, I think I'd probably take the shank. The 10, too. You want to take the 10? I might take the 10. Because I don't want to do two years of slavery. Like, they get the N-word. And y'all know the one I'm talking about. Like Not with the A at the end. With the E R with the girl like, at the uh, end. See, they get to do that all day, whip you and touch mm, do game you might get to try and touch on you and grab your wife in front of you. Yeah. And you do something. Yeah. Mm-mm. Yeah, that's I, I have to take ten for sure. Because like I said, at least I know Super with the ten years, it's a it's a higher probability that I get out and be able to live my life after the ten years. But two years is like the first time you call me a nigga with an E R on the end, you ain't kill me. You, you might as well go out ahead there. and tie the motherfucking noose. You got <laughs> some you got some dudes that probably say, Yeah, they take that two and just be a good slave. Just get through those two years, I'm sure it's a good slave. Oh, there. What you nodding your head I'm for, bruh? Huh? Cause you would be the two I'm years. Take the slave. Slave. <laughs> Look. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I'll wait for them to spin it. Let me tell you something. Uh, <laughs> nigga, you ain't. I don't know. my word. Hey, people, you got all this land. Like, you can, you can get one night and, and you can escape and, and never come back. Get all there. You can get one day night. Day. You can be gone. gone. No. Otherwise, being locked up, got to worry about you. Your booty every day, your uh, you get stabbed every day. I ain't worried about your booty every day. Booty. I told you I'm going. I'm shaking. I ain't worried about my booty. Look, I'm straight, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Bro. I'm shaking. And, and, hey. and our most active viewer said, "Shit, they got phones in jail now." Like, I stay in jail. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You ain't gonna talk to nobody. It's like. Except for, <laughs> you didn't have clothes then. Of course, you ain't talking to nobody. It's like, you gonna talk to your co workers. The way that right? you are already. Yeah, you don't know that nigga is like. Slavery nigga, they gonna take you. Do you know who they gonna feed you? you? Huh? They gonna feed you scrappings. He liked it. 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 He no, see, you can get the season is a stuff. Every Thanksgiving, anywhere. What you talking about? You don't get the, you don't get you don't get the raw. Yeah, you getting everything raw. You got to rest the fire in. Big Just because y'all got that fire. big ass piece of cornbread don't mean nothing, okay? <laughs> y'all get that black bread. cornbread. Y'all get that size. But it's only two years. At least we get our proper nutrients. But it's only two years. <laughs> y'all still in <laughs> there. Y'all still in there another eight years. Realize this. With my dang digging, you dang right. 
Yeah, yeah, but I only got two years. Now you got an ego when it comes to you making more money than your one. I only got two years. But you got a problem with being with having a master. Okay, like make that make sense. I only got two. You go have a master in prison. What you talking about? You gotta listen to everybody. You gotta listen to everybody. You gotta pick your game. You gotta do this. Come to the pile with me. I'll be telling them books. Come to the pile with me, boy. With that badge on. Well, you ain't gonna be there, man. One of them, one of them, one of them people gonna be like, man, I'm a kid. You can't be there. Everybody's there. I come. I'm telling you, I'm making my presence known. Listen, what if our viewers there? Don't make me walk in there having no groove, okay? Don't make me walk in there having no groove. Don't make me walk in there having no groove. Don't make me walk in there having no groove. Don't make me walk in there having no groove. Don't make me walk in there having no groove. Don't make me walk in there having no groove. Don't make me walk in there having no groove. Don't make me walk in there having no groove. Don't make me walk in there having no groove. Don't make me walk in there having no groove. Don't make me walk in there having no groove. Don't make me walk in there having no groove. Don't make me walk in there having no groove. Don't make me walk in there having no groove. Don't make me walk in there having no groove. Don't make me walk in there having no groove. Don't make me walk in there having no groove. Don't make me walk in there having no groove. Because of grace and son yeah. and the Lord. The man of your Jesus. stature, bro, do you know what they would do to you, bro? Yeah. You they know what? They're going to break you. They're going to break, they gonna oh break your God. ass. He's going to be working outside. So you're going to break your ass. You know what they used to do to slaves to break you? They're going to make you fight. But then you got another eight years. You got to realize this. What? You got another eight years. Do you know what they did to Why you're working? It's like when you're at work. The hours go by a little faster, right? Oh, when you at work, right? Just like uh, you working all day long. Work. Your hours go by your hours. Where the money at? Hey, look. Yeah, yeah, go to the money. He didn't go to the money. like seven cents an hour. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, baby. Wait, yeah. something. Because I'm a good lesson learner, too. So you only got one time to want me. Yeah, they don't you understand. You only got one time to want me. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. So you and I'm going to learn my lesson. And I'm going to do right for two years. I'm telling you. Yeah, 
and you know, being I was a single mother for a very long time, you know, I didn't live off the government. I had a job. I went to school, but I did get some government assistance. No, but they give the you and the enough to live off of anyway. Off is, it's two different <laughs> things. But what they give you as assistance is not enough to live off of. Like, uh, these people that's out here living off the government, when I tell you, they, they you should just start a business because you hustling. Yeah. You hustling all month. Yeah. You, you how, probably fucking start how, a business. You own a job. How many times have I heard folks go to that uh, little apartment with disability and pretend to be crazy to get that disability check? I know. Yeah. No, get that extra check. Get that, get that, yeah. Get the crazy check out there, too. You don't hear it. Now, you go crazy with the money, now you make about two grand a month off this uh, uh, government. I have that shit. Two grand a month. I'm just saying, you chillin'. can, though. You say you chillin'? Chillin' two grand a month, low key. Dang, shit. I know it ain't, but yeah, we chillin'. It ain't from the government. It's something. It's something that's on. Well, yeah, yeah. You just, it's something that's on. And that cat, y'all you know saying, that's y'all ain't want no stimulus either. Y'all better work than get the stimulus. You said no government, so you shouldn't get no stimulus. I said live. I'm probably I'm not going to give you another damn stimulus. But hell, I was working and making money and doing what I needed to do before yeah. the stimulus. The stimulus was extra money. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. it's the government. I'd be surprised, right? Yeah. It's still the government, too. Well, I ain't need it. That's that. That's that. That's that. That's that. That's that. That's that. It's still the government. You said. Don't live off the government and just straight work. Living off of the government means that you are you don't you will not get a job where you are making some type of other residual income. Every piece of money that you get, all money all for you to survive, government. all comes mm -hmm. from the government is living off the government. So the stimulus niggas wasn't doing that every month all year to live off of it. But it's my who's living off food stamps, public housing, work first, all kinds of and what refuse to get a job? You sitting in the house smoking up our you know, they 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 Why would I be on the number seventy five more? You don't need no job. Wait a minute. Might be over something. They the sitting worst. Sitting at home smoking up the government's money. Might be over something. Yeah. That's, that sounds good. Hey, you hey, that sounds good. Right. I can't sit at home. Your yeah, rent ain't over like, twenty five all over a month anyway. Person, like, I got to do something. Productive. The government ain't that bad when you you know. I don't do it though. Well, I'm just saying though. It's not that bad. It's, it's an option. option. Yeah. It is an option. Yeah, y'all said, well, for the government, well, you should have said, fuck the stimulus. You should have told them to the stimulus. No, hell. And since they say, I don't live on government. You yeah. have way more Don't give me no food stamps. I don't want no food stamps. I want to pay for my food. Fuck you that. have way more opportunities. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. The niggas is out here dying to get food stamps. I'm right. Yes, for real. Yeah. But you say no government. Y'all talking no, about it. Y'all talking about it. You are still living on government. No, what you talking about? Right, bro. Food stamps ain't living on government. Social security ain't living on government. What y'all talking about? It's a system that's not living on government. Right. We mean Section, Section 8 take care of the food stamps. All of it. All of it. Need extra money, SSI, yeah, all that. Right. You get no money. Without the government, you get no, you you have no. I just don't want to piss versus, somebody off for versus, you. Versus, versus me. Hey, versus me. Somebody could be living off the government online oh, right now. Y'all talking all this shit. And like, well, but we're, I got you. I mean, okay, but I'm sure they have their you know valid I mean? reasons. Everybody, okay. Some people would have to because they valid reasons. But you got some people just taking advantage of the system, right? Yeah. Just taking advantage of it. Yeah. Like, you know what? I'm, before we move on to your rent, I'll give you with this. There's, there are people that are doing it. And I met one of them around here. The nigga was going state to state getting Medicaid and food stamps. Uh, yes! Yes! Oh he don't yes. need this shit. Fans, too. They, they had a scam oh on that uh, about two years ago. Come on, They're talking about I got to go back because they cut off my such and such. Sir, because you moved to another state and got benefits in another state. Like, you just skipping state to state to get benefits. Yeah, like, unemployment. That is taking advantage. Case. They're about to open the case. That is taking advantage. I and mean, then when they find the case, they you like thirty years. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You get caught doing identity fraud, and they only give you two years, and you good. You oh, get back God. out in two years. You stole ten. You stole fifty grand from these people, and they only gonna give you two years. They gonna give you two years. Who he got on that doing the same thing? He got on his life. I was in court last year. We don't want to talk too much. I was in court last year. I heard some stories. And I'm like, probation. Yeah, he got probation for three years. This lady just took all the grants for these people. Yeah, probation for <laughs> two years and took 20 IDs. I'm like, 20 IDs? Yeah, we're going to give you two years. Yeah, a probation. You can go home. You can go home. Two uh, years of probation. For real. I was, it, you'll be amazed 
with you here in court. <laughs> I mean, Doug, you've been on the road with the rent so far mm -hmm. with today's show. However, I am quite interested to get into your rent of the week. What what you got for us this week? Y'all ready? Everybody yeah, got yeah. Yes, I had to put down yeah. everything. I just I had one, but I got I got one too, but I ready to talk about the, the cookout incident last night. <laughs> I see. So I think my mm -hmm. other friend in the week was a little, a little steep on it. I knew that was gonna be a rent. Can, can we? Yeah. Which cookout was you at? Oh, Summit. So it ain't that So I'm good. We say so. Go check this out. I'm in line for this hour, right? For my people, this it's not even my food. But anyway, he's been a good Samaritan. I stood in line for about forty five minutes last night, and I guess they're about to close up the window. But I ain't know. Uh, cookout had anyway. Let me let me let me tell my story for it. Okay, so I'm standing there and, and and a dude walk up right beside my car, like right in front of it, like from me to my couch, from me. You know, I was in distance. I'm like, um, bro, hey, hey, we wait for my car, bro. Go ahead, just go ahead. He looked at me. I'm like. This boy think I'm playing. I'm, t I'm telling everybody lies. You know, he think I'm capping. I'm going to call my homeboys. I'm like, bro, come get my car, bro. Because I'm about to beat the fuck out of you. I'm going to ask him one more time. Hey, bro, move away from my car, bro. He said something. He said something on his breath. I'm like, all right, bet. All right, bet, bet, bet. Uh, this is what I'm on. This is what I'm on. Thank you. So I walked over there. And I'm like, bro, I work here, bro. You want to see the badge, bro? I'm like, uh. Hey y'all, y'all, y'all good, bro. Y'all good. Y'all go back, bro. Y'all good, bro. Don't come, bro. Don't come. Cause they were about, they were coming in. All right, bro. We on the way, bro. Yeah, I'm about to beat this nigga the fuck up. He got me fucked up. You gonna say that? You gonna tell me you ain't gonna move away from my car, bro? You gonna shut your shoulder? All right, bet. This more, this is what I'm on right here. What y'all think about this situation? I ain't never knew cookout had talk about Because questions they need answers. That's what that's gonna be my first thing. Wait, when did they get security for cookout? They got right. talked about security with the badge and everything. I, I, I ain't seen see the badge at first. I just see him standing there beside my car. He look like a bum ass nigga standing beside my car though. I'm like, bro, just move in from the car. You know what I'm saying? I just got fed. I spent three hundred something dollars on my car today. I ain't got no time for you, bro. If you touch my car, bro, I'm going to beat you like you stole something. You don't even want to put no fingerprints on the car because you didn't spend $300. But, in, but still, though, you need to back away from my car, though. Why are you standing there? Don't even put your fingerprints on the I ain't no cookout had top flight security in there. That's all I'm saying, bro. Exactly. And mind you, back up. And mind you, I used to be the, the, the man, you know, at the clothes or whatever, the bouncers, whatever. I used to get the bouncers, bouncers at a couple of clothes already, so I already know about security. I know how to fight, fight. But this dude right here just shrugged his shoulders at me like I'm a little. But you know what I'm saying? So I, I walked over there all aggravated and everything. I'm like, all right, nigga, you think I'm a gay? <laughs> all right. It was ready. All right, bro. I was trying to shrug his shoulder and everything. I said, what's up, bro? What's good, bro? He said, bro, I work here, bro. I'm a security guard or whatever. And then he kept on mean bugging me the rest of the night. And I walked back up to the window. And I'm like, embarrassed, like, fuck, I'm telling everybody. I'm telling everybody in the line, like, I'm about to beat this dude the fuck up, oh, Please put your cameras on. I ain't they probably got cameras, bro. Some of the yeah. still bad like that. That they need security and cookout. And cookout. Like cookout. Cookout? That man, that, that man was telling everybody, hey, man, they about to close the window. I'll pass you to leave, man. I'm like, like I'm like, you gonna let that man talk to y'all like that? <laughs> you know, I got a bad story. They need security at home at a whole trace. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. The same cookout they caught that rat at last year. They want to have security there now. Oh, I just want to put that out there. Security for that? Yeah. Got that nigga pest control. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, pest control. Pest like control. Exterminate. So how late at night was this? Was this cookout visit? It was two, about 2 o'clock. In the morning? And my aunt and them begging me. In the morning? Yes. My aunt and them begging me to stick in with some food. So I, I went to two Wendy's, by the way. That's already pissed me off. Because <laughs> they talk about, we well, I'm taking my orders. You're going to wait till I get to the line. I'm about to stand up again. You're going to wait till I get to the line and tell me you don't do it for them. <laughs> So I ain't got pissed off anyway. So by him standing beside my car, I was like, shit, I'm ready anyway. I'm already pissed off. 
I'm all right pissed off. I'm ready. But you know what I'm saying? But I get that. I did get embarrassed though. Cause I ain't never walked away like Will Smith did. You know, I ain't never just walked away and not do nothing. You know what I'm saying? So that made me feel that way a little bit. I'm like, well, dang, man. I'm about to, I'm about to go to jail beating up the dog on top flight. Mm. Mm. It's security guard. Now, if, like if it's in one of y'all cousins, you know what I'm saying? I don't know the nigga. I was just saying, I didn't know Cook I had top flight. I thought he was just messing with me. I thought he was a bum ass nigga messing with me. That's it. That's, that's all I'm saying. What y'all think about that, brother? I, I did strange. get you all that young man to cook out of the pot with you. <laughs> I don't want to Oh, he won't go down for his job, man. You on top flight like, an yeah. apology in your head for the way you go. I'm a gator like, bear. What you talking about? Uh-uh. Did you I apologize to him? My fault, bro. My apologize fault. that man. I ain't need to, because you showed me that badge. I showed up. Every time I see a badge, I showed up. <laughs> <laughs> I see a badge, I don't say shit. I showed up. <laughs> you don't care what kind I of I like that new that boy. Oh. I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 good. Uh, 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 uh. It's like when I uh, ran from the cops and they ain't showed me that badge. I told them, I said, I don't know who you is. I don't know why you follow my car. But I'm about to leave you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You want to catch me. You want to catch me. Boy, that cop said that's the he funniest moment of his life. My car. I, for real, I, I swear for everything, I, I ran from the cops and told them I was running. And about it, they call. Girl, I got road rage a little bit. I back the all way up and I don't know Ooh. who the hell y'all is, but y'all go out and catch this man today. You know what I'm saying? They chased me for two miles straight. Motor was they call that day. They chased me for two miles straight, bro. Then they gonna cut the lights on and talk about, yeah, you know what I'm saying? First off, you ain't got no lights on. You got a Honda cord, no lights. You ain't show me no badge. You just looked at me. I don't know who fuck you. He just looked at me. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Tell you. It was the other The other cop came out of the car crying. He was crying. He was like, bro, I've never let nobody go from a police chase in my 12 year career here. <laughs> never. Ever. And that was the funniest shit I ever seen in my whole career. <laughs> I ain't never seen nobody tell me they're going to tell me to chase them. Like, you told me to chase them, but. Each reference, don't back up to a, a person that's trying to follow you with the don't feature reference. Don't back up to don't back up to the car and tell them Because <laughs> 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 you might get shot by a civilian. I'm just saying FY That's what you did? You backed you back up. Yeah, I got road raised. You follow me, all right. I got something. You know what? You, you know what I'm saying? That movie about the, the the lady that got road rage and the man that checked her down. It's a movie. I, I can't seen remember it. the I name. I've seen the trailer for it. Uh, what is the After movie? that man hit my car, yeah, that shit. Don't know the name of that movie? Uh, it got Russell Crowe in it. I can't remember. I can't remember the name of the movie. You but said Russell who? Crowe. Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe? I'm about to find she, that movie. She, I can't remember what she did. I think she cut him off in traffic. He was trying to be nice to her and tell her, hey, you don't cut people off. Da, 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 da. And she was like, give me a blood attitude. And for the rest of the movie, he chased her ass down. Made her like hell. Hell. But like he done killed, honey. Y'all got to, you got to watch the movie. I don't remember the name of it. Somebody, somebody. Unhinged. Somebody, yes, unhinged. If y'all have not seen unhinged, definitely a must watch. That is a good movie, and it will change your life if you got road rage. Because I don't even be cussing at people like that no more. Because uh, road rage, <coughs> he went to a whole extreme in that one right there. He went to a whole extreme. Like just watch road rage, dude. More your story. Watch your road rage. <laughs> Watch your road rage yeah, and much. don't yell at strangers in parking lots that cook out at 2 o'clock in the morning. Also, yeah, because you could have got shot too, fucking with that bitch. Hey, look, oh, I'm going to cook out. Bro, I was just I got a gun in there and I said, y'all watch this. I done popped the trunk in there and thinking that and he just standing there too. And I said, boy, this nigga gangs. I could have just shot that. 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 But this man just threw this round. I'm just saying. I give him props, but that nigga got a gangster. They know, I ain't gonna lie. They know how yeah, right. they got that cookout at 2 o'clock in the morning. They got yeah. two months about it. Your 13 and hours <laughs> is all right, bro. I'm <laughs> for real. That's all right right there. Top flight, brother. <laughs> Top flight to you. Not the cookout, man. Cookout. Okay. Y'all, 
This is about to be the end of the show. I want y'all to look out for our Facebook, 40K Radio. I want y'all to tune in to our YouTube. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Go ahead and do it now. Please. You have to hit the bell yeah. or you ain't in the room. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah. That's our slogan. That's officially the slogan. Hit the bell or you ain't in the room. We're going to keep this moving every Sunday. I hope y'all enjoyed our show. And check out our Anchor account too. We're on Anchor, oh, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Yes. <laughs> Make sure you're definitely following the 40K Radio pages on all social media platforms. You can follow me at the real Coco B on Instagram or Coco B on Facebook. Catch me at OKMLB on Instagram and Twitter and Marcus Demery on Facebook. You can catch me at Kobe again on Facebook and Kobe again underscore on IG. You can catch me on T Taz T Dub Maxwell on Facebook, <laughs> Five Bloods Daily on Twitter, and <laughs> <laughs> And uh, on Instagram, uh, Marty Dreads, 1990. All right. And we out of here. We see y'all next week. See Good show. Next week. Hey, hey, hey.